So we want to be there to protect social interactions. We want to make festivals safe. We want people to be able to truly take positive risks and enjoy themselves. We step in with our particular elements of activating your beautiful sanctuary, creating a literal safe space where people can get respite, get a little support, and internally post clinicians in partnership again with Golden Voice and restabilizing a people who might be experiencing a trauma trigger up to and including sexual harassment and assault. Steel shirts with the Everyone logo are trained safety ambassadors who are trained to provide compassionate care to get to be able to ascertain what may be your concern and what you might need support around, and then provide a safe passage service to bring you safely to that medical tent if that is the actual care that you require, or to our Everyone tent that hosts trained clinicians who can do you know one-on-one -on -one sessions, sort of restabilizing services and get people back out to having a good time in the festival. The emphasis on cultural spaces in large part is because people lower inhibitions and tend to go to different parts of their behavioral selves that are give us, afford us a really rich opportunity to address it, to educate towards it, and then to intervene if necessary, which is transformative. I go back to my 18-year-old self, and knowing that this could have happened back then, I just can't imagine how much harm could have been reduced, how much, you know, just more comfort I could have felt. But we have had sort of a passion and enthusiasm for meeting people really where they are in the most extreme circumstances of this particular issue. Because it tends to strike so many young people, we have an interest in conversations with college campuses, in spaces like Mardi Gras, but also corporate settings and spaces yeah. where the culture that we are hoping to address and shift permeates into three different generations. And so really trying to put ourselves in spaces where the conversation is generational as possible, especially in light of movements like Me Too and Time's Up and conversations that are demanding change. We recognized a tipping point. We recognized that we had a skill set and a value add and a perspective that was deeply necessary to, change, to, to harness popular culture and direct it on all of us having a role in ending what some of us call rape culture, what is simply we can call a complicit culture, an inactive bystander culture. If we all start marching forward and supporting each other who are offering up solutions and amplify those solutions and join and unify ourselves, we're going to make a significant change to whatever you want to name that culture.